Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this series we will be learning about uh, open source CSV product called WSO2. So in this video I will start with a uh, basic introduction and we will see how to set up the runtime of WSO2. So WSO2 is an open source technology company uh, which builds middleware tools for uh, enterprise service bus, API management, governance and analytic tools. So it was founded by Sanjeeva Veera Verna, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, and Paul Fremantle in August 2005. So currently they have offices in USA, UK and Sri Lanka, but the office in Sri Lanka is where the research and operations are widely done. And if you see the customer base, they are uh, eBay, BNY Milan, Cisco, Experian and West Telecom. So this gives an idea about the clientele they have actually. So eBay, they nearly had transaction of uh, millions of messages and uh, WSO2 product were able to support those kind of heavy transactions as well. So let's see about the evolution of the product. So first WSO2 was introduced as WSO2 Tungsten. Uh, later it was uh, renamed to WSO2 Titanium and later it became popular by the name WSO2 ESP which stands for Enterprise Service Bus. And currently the product is renamed to uh, WSO2 Enterprise Integrator. Okay. So the WSO2 products are released under the Apache license version 2 which is one of the friendly license we have. So you can um, download it for free and you can use it for uh, commercial and non-commercial purpose. So the product they provide currently includes a WSO2 API management or the manager. And for integration, they have the WSO2 Enterprise Integrator, the Identity and Access Management, Smart Analytics and the IoT Server. So in this tutorial, we are mainly going to concentrate on WSO2 EI and I'm also planning to do a separate tutorials on WSO2 API Manager. So they are into the cloud market as well and uh, they do offer cloud services for API as uh, API Cloud, uh, the Integration Cloud and the Identity Cloud. So currently their uh, cloud trial is for two weeks so you can use a free trial of two weeks after which it is chargeable. Uh, we will actually have a look at these features uh, in upcoming videos as well. So WSO2 EI has two major components. One is called the server which is nothing but the runtime and we have the other component which is called the tooling which is nothing but the uh, development region or the uh, the platform in which you develop WSO2 components to be deployed into the runtime. So the major prerequisites are to have a system with a minimum 2 GB RAM and uh, a disk space of 1 GB disk space. This is only for the installation purpose not for any other thing like for the uh, uh, logs or the uh, data sets. So it's just for the installation purpose. And you need JDK 1.8 or a higher version and uh, you have to set the java home and the carbon home if you have a windows system okay so now let's move on to the next part where we will be downloading the software and you'll be installing so it's pretty easy you just search for wso2 ea download and if you go to the first link you can see we are into the enterprise bus but if you go to the product line and integration and go to download over here you can see that there's a download button over here and the current version is 6.1.1 and you just have to provide your email address along okay so if i download this you will be getting the installation file which is of only 2.7 mb so i have already downloaded this actually so if you run this uh, particular application what will happen is it will download the complete runtime which is around uh, 600 MB okay so you can see this is the actual runtime so it's pretty much easy you just have to follow the uh, steps just go and uh, provide the path in which you need the installation to happen so it's pretty much easy so I'm just skipping that part for this video and if I go back over here, you can see there is a download tooling. So this is the one that I was speaking about in which you will be developing the components and tooling is nothing but an Eclipse based uh, 
uh, platform so if you already have eclipse mask you can just download the plugin and you can do the uh, development right away or you can download the whole package from here as well depending upon the operating system that you are using in okay so now we will set up the server so first thing you have to traverse to this bin path so i'll just take this path so open a command prompt or a terminal So you have to go to the bin path and you can see there is a file called the integrator.sh so you need to get that executed. So it takes a few seconds like a, like a minute or one and a half minutes depending upon the system that you have to start the uh, runtime. So let's wait for some time. Okay, now we can see that uh, you, you have a message that carbon started and uh, you can see the seconds that it took to get this started. So you have uh, been provided a URL. This is nothing but the management console URL. So I'll just copy, okay, copy it and uh, I will use a browser to navigate to that particular URL. Okay. So the default uh, user ID and password is admin and admin. And you are all set. We have now successfully uh, installed our, uh, the the runtime is ready for WSO2EA. So that's all for this video. So we will see how to set up uh, the tooling and uh, we will be creating a simple flow in our next video. Thank you.